Welcome. Shall we observe the sun? Sunspot numbers are bouncing back. After a two-week decline, which reminded some observers of solar minimum, sunspot numbers are bouncing back. The emergence of multiple new sunspots on the solar disk plus a new far-side sunspot rotating over the sun's eastern limb is driving the sunspot number back up to 100. This is a normal fluctuation en route to solar max. Using this LASCOC2 filter, showing the last 24 hours, there are a few CME observed erupting from the sun in multiple directions, with the southern eruption possibly giving the Earth a glancing blow, but it may pass below the Earth's orbit. Here are the same eruptions, with the Lasco C3 filter added. The CME are shown as they expand through space, with Mercury and Mars seen on the left of the filter after they completed their conjunction which occurred on October 29th. A solar magnetic filament erupted on Halloween night, carving a canyon of fire in the sun's southern hemisphere. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory recorded the debris as it slingshot into space. The walls of the canyon are at least 10,000 kilometers high and 10 times as long. SOHO coronagraph images show a bright CME emerging from the blast site. NASA has modeled the data and determined that the CME will not hit Earth. Twenty years later, the Halloween storms. Imagine waking up to this headline, half of Earth's satellites lost. Impossible, it actually happened during the great Halloween storms of 2003. Turn back the clock 20 years. Solar cycle 23 was winding down, and space weather forecasters were talking about how quiet things would soon become. Suddenly, the sun unleashed two of the strongest solar flares of the space age, an X-17 flare on October 28th followed by an X-10 on October 29, 2003. Both hurled fast CMEs directly toward Earth. Traveling 2,125 km per second and 1,948 km per second, respectively, each CME reached Earth in less than a day, sparking extreme G5 geomagnetic storms on October 29 through the 31st, 2003. Auroras descended as far south as Georgia, California, New Mexico, Arizona, Texas, and Oklahoma. This HMI intensity gram map shows the sunspots at that time frame. The Halloween storms pumped an extra 3 terawatts of power into Earth's upper atmosphere. Geomagnetic heating puffed up the atmosphere, sharply increasing aerodynamic drag on satellites. Some satellites in low Earth orbit found themselves off course by 1 to tens of kilometers. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.